William Lyon Mackenzie King was the 10th and the longest serving Prime Minister in Canadian history, holding office for 22 years during much of the 1920s, 30s and 40s. It wasn't until his death in 1950 and the release of his diary that Canadians learned some shocking truths about King's private life. This seemingly proper and colourless man secretly believed that he could communicate through seances with spirits of the dead. Through paid mediums, King claims that he communicated with his dead mother, President Roosevelt, and several of his departed dogs. In his candid diary, King also wrote that he was in contact with Leonardo da Vinci, former Prime Minister Sir Wilfrid Laurier, and his grandfather, also a well-known political figure. Some historians claim that King sought political advice from his contacts in the afterlife, suggesting that the country was, in part, guided through some of history's greatest challenges by dead people, and worse yet, by dead dogs. Other historians, however, insist that King did not allow his beliefs to influence his decisions on political matters. And regardless of what Canadians think of Mackenzie King's personal beliefs, they admired his political accomplishments. King was ranked Canada's greatest Prime Minister in a survey of historians conducted in 1997.